And, and besides the uh, two Arizona senators who have been talked about, McCain and Kyle, I'd like to ask you about Senator James Exxon, who's a member of the, uh, who was a member of the Senate Arms uh, Services Committee. I understand he said that he had spent more time looking into this particular incident than any other case, and his quote, I think I've got this right, since I've been a U.S. Senator, uh, while he's said that additional information like a seven interagency memorandum is on file, he says that he feels there's been no cover-up. Now, why did he say that? in your opinions or the opinion of the attorney or anybody else? That, uh, well, in, in my opinion, the Air Force, after the incident broke, the memo was released, they contacted us and wanted us to have brief contact with the press admitting what, what happened, there was something that happened out there, but they didn't want us to go into detail. And what, with the MOD saying no defense significance and the Air Force saying there's no cover-up, what they're basically saying is an incident took place and we're not lying that it took place. But what we're not available and willing to do is go into what's been classified and, and what the final outcome was. Well, I'd have to say uh, <coughs> that if they admit that an incident's taken place without identifying what excuse that me, incident is. Oh, I'm just, uh, let me yield you additional two minutes on the record, please. Oh, I appreciate that, Chair. <laughs> it seems to me, and I think. And I hope I'm a fair-minded person, but I'd like to say any other fair-minded person, that if they've admitted that an incident has taken place, we don't have to get them to admit maybe your interpretation of what you saw or what you, they don't have to admit what you saw. But they sure have to admit that there's no reason to hold your medical records. And this is very disturbing to me because the only what could possibly be a reason to withhold from the person whose medical record it is a medical rest record if they've confirmed the incident, which they have? Would you? That's why I'm not necessarily agreeing with Senator X on here and saying, I, I, I don't see how this can be unless a cover up has taken place. And I don't mean to be throwing uninformed statements out here, but you cannot admit that there was an incident. I would just like to clarify this point once more because I want to be careful the way I'm saying it. And then insist on classifying a medical record related to that incident. And it doesn't matter what the incident absolutely is or was, and we don't even have to talk about whether it was a UFO, whether it was, uh, as you say, uh, Sergeant Peniston, you're not uh, totally a believer in ET, but you believe that you saw definitely an unidentified maneuvering object. Well, that is solid evidence then. And I'm not saying exactly what you saw is right now, but I'm saying that is evidence that's indisputed as far as being a cover-up. 